three or two minutes before that. Uh, stay tuned. This is Sussex and Officini, tired community managers, <laughs> signing out for a few minutes. See you soon.
Hello and welcome back once again, Sarsex and FSN with you. This is Radio Panzar. Uh, if you can't bear the lag, we have a French stream up and running. If you, but you can't bear our voices, just listen to us. We have a final map starting in 2 minutes 25 seconds at the point of talking. So impress yourself. There are two Russian teams pitched, pitched against each other on the siege of the Swamp Fort. Let's see how it turns out. Yeah. So far, we have the uh, team SKB and uh, Privyad Medved, both of them who have been undefeated obviously in the tournament. Um, Privyad Medved actually started on the uh, round of 16 effectively, they play, first played the uh, freelancers and knocked them out and uh, then made their way all the way through the finals. And it has to be said that the um, there are some expectations for both of these teams to be in the finals. They are, are mostly consisting of, of veteran players and uh, as such we should have a really high high end finals coming on. I mean pretty much the most powerful teams out here even uh, managed to get to the finals. Mm -hmm. So unlike other, uh, I believe, other maps that we had, this is going to be a pretty long because we have a Pretty good yeah, teams it should on be both a really sides. Even, even fight, for sure. Yep. And uh, it'll be really interesting to see how it goes on the map. And uh, the map was um, Siege of the Swamp Fortress. So it's where the attacker starts. Starts from the top of the uh, jungle village and then makes their way first to the ground level and then into the swamp. Uh, yeah, the, the points are pretty, except the first one, are pretty much exposed from every single angle. So it's pretty hard to defend. But at the same time, it's pretty hard to attack because you can just swarm the mid. Mm -hmm. Unless you obviously have a frost wish, which can freeze everything, and then oh my god, this is over. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there will be lots of freezing coming on. I mean, I, I do really want to uh, like to see the combo. Frost wish jumps, uses the freeze while people react. The berserker comes and power attack, yeah. and then everything goes in the valley of balls. Yes, ice everywhere. In, okay, in case uh, something, okay, even I'm even my my tone is failing me now. Uh, I do keep reminding that this is the official first blood tournament starting in ten seconds. Uh, the match is about to start in ten seconds. This is Sussex and Officini. Uh The match is going to be between SDP and Privet Medved. Now we're about to embrace the epic battle. Minus two, minus two, minus three. And we're there. Siege of the Swampport. Siege of the Swampport. Uh, do keep in mind that we have a bit of a lag on our English uh, part of the stream. Uh, it's not because your internet service provider is failing, it's not because we are failing, and it's not, not, not our fault at all. It's a fault of our uh, internet service provider who gladly provides us the internet connection. So, in case you can't bear the lag, uh, scroll up a bit and you will see the French link, uh, the link for the French stream where you can just mute and listen to us tired but happy community managers in here. Anyway, uh, from what I can see on the streams, it's it's starting to get a good a bit like no lag from really? no, no lag from what I can see. It's not like a slideshow anymore. So anyway, guys, I do believe that the recording of the video won't have a lag. But again, no speculations on that as well. So you might be able to see unlagged stream at later point mm -hmm. after the tournament ends. We're gonna upload that later, uh, or you can head over directly to the Twitch channel if you can't wait for it to appear on the official map. And but here we go. But here we go. Sorry to interrupt, but yep. the match is full on, and we first have wishes, first the uh, STB in blue are uh, fighting against the uh, red of Privet Medved. And we're right smack in the first first point, and uh, the uh, attacking team is STP in, in the first round. And they're already making some progress. Yeah, the blue team is capturing the point. That's definitely uh, ex to be expected. The first point is always very easy to capture, and uh, yeah. usually it has a, a very close. And here we go to cap yeah, so the point capture. capture. And let's follow the uh, team STP into the second point which we can find on the bottom. I mean, I mean again, let's there step aside a bit that. I mean, I, I mean, I know that it's a final tournament, but for some reason I do really want to slay, say like in the Leagues of Legends, blue team double kill. <laughs> blue team has captured the point. Uh, regardless of the situation, you can see that the red team actually trying to 
push back the blue team by uh, putting a shield by tanks putting the shield and mages trying to suppress the other team by firing their spells but from what you can see the red team is just floating in the air and the blue team is just destroying them the next point is about to be captured already uh, I mean that's that's what you feel when you try to like when when you're rushing for the 10k crystals you really want to get them that's what I call passion and that's what I call dedication I saw forums and I read forum threads I know that Privet Mirvier has really uh, they had some training before that yes I they've, think been they, they, they've been practicing before the tournament for sure between other teams I believe or between together teams but what yeah. you can see now I think their training starting to pay off the finals are. This is the final map. I mean, that's not no longer the semi-finals or quarter yes, finals. It's the finals, and, and they're already here. capturing the third point. Third like point, and this is usually where the battle gets bogged down because of the massive protection from the down the ramp. But, but they I, really rushed in through and and are, are really close to conquering it. And Brewed uh, Medved has to stop SDP here for at least a couple of minutes, or they're just this. This is probably the easiest. Done. Well, was probably the easiest point to hold, but this this looks really good, really good for the um, SDP. SDP. Yes, I mean I, here we are. So we're leaving the uh, fortress behind and moving on to the swamps. Remember that you don't need to step into the water unless you want to die. Especially the plants. You see, yes. they're angry. They're yes. angry because it's late. Why well, you disturb them? Why well, do you even have finals now? No one said us anything. Anyway, the tanks of the red team is trying to, uh, to trying to protect the point, but it appeared that the plant's actually helping the blue team. <laughs> yes. I mean, at least it, it feels like, oh, the red team berserker tried to kick the blue team out, but then he was meant with unstoppable force of the blue team. And then we have the creatures coming. And then we have a blue team capturing the point already, again. It, nearly half of the point has been yep. captured. The red team from... But there's a new wave of red coming in and... Uh, Thanks to the Frost Witch. We'll see if they can get back the uh, point to the I mean, from what you can see on the screen, the, they all come in from the one direction, basically. Mm -hmm. The red team and the blue team. Oh, no, 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 blue team is again capturing it's the very, point. very, very close now. Yes. And looking at it, it does seem, because the... Uh, and the red blue team has captured the point. Yeah. So that's been really, really good work and fast for work from the uh, the STP. And looking at it, it's this the whole of, all of red team is pretty much killed. I mean, uh, really, guys, I would love to sing you a song, but my voice is down and I'm kind of tired. And I really can't think of a good song for SDP or for Privet Midviad. But uh, I really hope that the Privet Midviad will show some show us something in the next round. Probably. Well, they still have well, there is the still this point chance. here, there's, but there's 14 minutes left to take that, and and it would be a surprise if if uh, this point can be held for that long. But uh, weirder things have happened, so we'll just have to see. So far, uh, STP hasn't quite stepped into the ring yet, but uh, I think the there's first a berserker in the middle. Berserkers are now there, and uh, first I mean, sliver of capture has already been made. One thing to all, one thing to understand, like Privet Midviet is a uh, is a team that has been compiled uh, during the tournament uh, yes. registration, and thus I think they did a really good job to make it into the finals. As in, it's already it's already a good sign that team that has been created during oh, the tournament registration managed to do that. And uh, the blue team has captured it. the point. Congratulations to the SDP. Good game. That was a fast show. Let's see uh, how well. Let's see how the next the match turns out. Come up come up with. Oh. the next one we'll have just five minutes of break for the teams to uh get themselves together and then we'll head back into the fray and this time we'll have the same map uh but this time revered midwit will be coming down the fort and trying to repeat the same performance as the stp did just a moment ago you can see on the screen right now there's five minutes till the next match People are excited. It's uh, on the one on the one hand for the SDP. It's really looking bright for them for the win. On the other hand, there's a pre-game midway who still has chances to uh, win this game, and then we'll proceed to the king of the map in that case and determine this the, mo the most powerful one. And who will get the first blood of the tournament of, of the European tournament? We'll see in a couple of minutes. In the meantime, guys. Um, 
I do appreciate your support. This is Soul Sex and Officini. If you have any questions, concerns, feedback about the stream, uh, except for the quality and the lag, we do we did talk about this before. But again, I'll. I want to talk about this a bit more. This is the problem in our internet service provider, not your problem, not directly even our problem. It's just some forces didn't want us to get the first stream as smooth as possible. Yes, yes. So we switched to the radio the best style. stream went rather well, really, but uh, then when the uh, first blood is drawn, well, I think we got ourselves injured a bit. We, 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 draw, we draw the first screenshot. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, we can have a little look. Do we have any... Ah, yes, yes, some questions about hmm, Godzilla. About? I've, I've heard the name Godzilla, that's sure, yes. I heard the name. Uh, what I do you think, think about level. holding your level at 4 forever? Uh, if you want to play in the uh, minor league, sure, why not? But uh, I mean, that's not going to get you very far in the tournaments, I think it's... Uh, uh, and, and yeah, it's this is probably related to the stuff that was happening early on when the game was out, because when people level past four, uh, they went on to the next bracket, and when they were first in the next bracket, it was hard to get matches. There's really no such problem at all at, at level five. There may still be problems in, in higher level brackets in, in off-peak times, but if you want to play at level four, play at level four. Uh, I don't know. If, if I mean, you, there's, there's certainly a charm to having limited uh, option, options, you know exactly what everybody can do and so on. At level yeah. 4 you unlock the slider, so you can adjust what you want, the experience or yeah. gold, so then you just go for gold and get the less yeah, experience yeah. possible, so you'll stay at level 4 for as long as possible. And in case you will level eventually, it's pretty easy to level to, mm. to level 4, like in a couple of hours yeah. or even yeah. minutes, like 40-50 minutes it, it, in an extensive gameplay. Yeah. Well, I think it's not a bubble, decrease the level 20 and increase the queue times. Um, frankly, I think it's not going to be a big issue anymore. People just, you know, since there is no problems getting in with the matches on, on the couple of next brackets as well, uh, I don't think there will be all that many players staying there. There was the sort of, uh, I don't know how to call it, maybe a uh, conception uh, that you are... Uh, you have to stay at level 4 to be able to play, but that's really not the case. In, in right now anymore. So... Mm. I mean, more friends you invite, the more people out there to play with. So, do keep in mind mm. that you need to invite as much as possible, so then you can yeah. play with as many people as possible. Well, and it's, it's cool to have uh, different characters at different levels as well, so uh, say you do bring your friend, you can play with him in the same bracket if you have a character on low level, so it definitely has its uses as well. And I think for many like players out there, it's really a break-even point in de in deciding whether or not they want to play a game if they heard this is a game is free to play. Mm. I mean, just mention that this is a free to play game and you don't need to pay anything to try it out or even pay anything when you want it later. Yeah. Obviously, if you want to go faster to a certain level, it's maybe more efficient mm -hmm. to buy crystals and purchase some upgrades. And I mean, who needs to buy crystals when you can win them from the tournament? So or yeah, when you know. can just, you know, level for the tournament. I don't the think uh, SDB and Privyat Medved is going to buy crystals anytime soon after this, this match. Yeah, so right now it really, it's pretty easy to get the uh, match at any level in the evening. I mean, level 20 still stays a bit of a problem, but I even I managed to get some mm -hmm. games on level 20 in the evening. Yeah. Like after the work, after having my my daily job done, mm -hmm. just get there, get a cup of coffee, and smash everything that moves with my berserker. Yes, yes. Okay, we have a next match starting in 20 seconds in Brace Yourself. This is either the last match, and we will determine whether the SDP will draw the first blood, or Privyat Midwyat will show some really great performance, and we're gonna go to the King of the Hill map. Mm -hmm. If you wanna know, stay tuned in 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. We go in. Excellent. Well timed, well timed. I know that it's minus 3. I mean, we rarely <laughs> reach minus 4. Unless there is a bit of a lag. We would never have lag. Not, not, not here. No, 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 no. No, no. Lag is perfect. Lagless. Yes. Oh well, okay, so back to the siege, siege of the Throm. So it's as the name implies, it's a siege map with the uh, four locations to conquer. And the first one is high up on the uh, uh, private. 
and usually this one is, is easily easily taken there's been some some exceptions to this but overall this one is pretty much a, a cakewalk after that we'll go to the floor of, of the fortress and that can be a bit more of a match and finally the th well the third point just outside the fortress is where things get really tricky but uh, let's see battle starts in five four three two one Embrace yourself. This is either the last match uh, we will embrace in this first blood tournament and SDP will take the blood. Or Privet Medvedev is going to show us something. Vote, vote for a team. We forgot to set up the vote. Oh no, we didn't. That's the, the voting system within the comment section. <laughs> anyway, the blue team is kind of stacking up, trying to do yeah. something. The Frost Witches are using their magic, uh -huh. trying to... Oh, Paladin is purging the cold. And the red team is actually... Wow! They really pushed past the uh, capture point, and and uh, there's a massive difference where the fight happens. If the fight were to happen on the capture point, it would be really good for the attackers. But the red team obviously knew. All the blue team is capturing the point. There's okay, one sneaky good. berserker that's there. Really good. Forces the. Uh, I mean, the move to from what I see, we have a really huge stream improvements in terms of lag. Oh yes, it does it's like seem it, to be it go. It's not the best quality right now because mm -hmm. I'm kind of afraid of setting up it higher. But at least it's pretty damn stable now. Mm. I believe internet service provider finally created a berserker and tried the things out. <laughs> 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 and he said, "Hey, we need to give these guys a bandwidth." Yes. And um, the, uh, the blue team is actually capturing the point. Yep. Oh, that was nice and shattering. Oh, oh, so, so close, so close. Damn it, the, red, the red team press on. Oh, there's still somebody, one blue guy in there. You need to keep in yes, there. Yes, yes, the red team stays there. And also, you can see the blue uh, the the team pretty badly from hold there. Hold it until you get some backup. I mean, we still have a lot of mad, <laughs> battle and magics going on in there. They kind of stay a bit outside of the circle. I mean, I think they all should stuck up in the middle. Because right. when they're fighting outside of it, they're. Not being oh, oh the red oh, team yes. captured the they point we got again. The last last tank in there, and we're back to square one. So like I said, in the siege maps, the uh, first point is usually the easy one to capture. It does does well put this match in a certain light. The uh, team STP is continuing where they left last round, and are really really forcing the fight, taking the fight to the uh, blue team. Only thing is that the blue <laughs> team are the attackers. So, uh, yeah, well, as I mentioned, the great defense is the offense, and the great yes. defense is the defense. So it's kind, it, it fits its, uh, its description. So I do believe every single team did a really great job. But once again, I told you, the SDP is a well-established clan and team, and they're already well-known on Russian servers. On the other hand, Privet Midvet has been compiled mm -hmm. uh, during the tournament registration and tournament thingy within three days, I believe. So, so the, the uh, STP is being really bold to even leave yep. the capture point. And I, uh, but I do at the same time, I do want to give a respect to the Privyad Milviad team since uh, it's the team that has managed to like compile the compile it, compile oh, the team out of it. Yes, sure. yeah. and established a good fight. I mean, again, getting to the finals is always something that you need to be proud of, especially on the very first tournament, which is not like uh, very. S s what's happening there? Oh, oh. no. Oh, he's a lot. No, he's not. No. I would. I would. Oh, is there another one? <laughs> it's a berserker raid. Yes, it is. It is. Or it's exactly the same one. No. He, yeah, it's exactly the same one. No. No. Felt like it lacked. Forms things. Yeah. But okay. Anyway, there's yeah. there's a berserker raid going on in there. Anyway, it's 11:30. It's 11 minutes 30 seconds uh, till the match ends. So there's plenty of time, but the. Um uh, Privyad Midvid has to really, really uh, do some crafty tricks now. They need to sneak in there. They need to be able to uh, force the battle to take place somewhere else than just outside the uh, the ramp leading from their uh, staging area. Because this is just a frozen zone. There's nobody coming through there. Yeah, so that's a very they do have an option because when they start out... I mean, the Paladin has a really good position in theory. If you watch him closely, whenever, whenever teams gets frozen, he's standing on the bridge and purging the cold and snares. Mm. So, I believe they do have a possibility to uh, push through. If the Frozen Witch is going to freeze mm. them, just going to need to purge and then put the Berserkers in the front. Yeah, there's a problem with the purge though, with the class points if... if well. Yeah, the class points for purge are really, yeah. really high, I should so say, and if you're not healing efficiently. And be careful with this. But when they start from up here, uh, they do have a chance to go another route as well. 
and they should probably take some uh, time to uh, spread the combat because right now it's, it's too pretty tight. much on the it's one too tight and they're really cornered in, in one slot over there there's some there. progress being made but overall oh, one berserker managed to jump but being met by the witch yes, freeze the unfortunately they still probably can't kill him quite right no they can't kill him he, he, right. he was, uh, when he was frozen he went into the block yeah so that's the reason behind it oh that's the, actually a really good tip if you do end up frozen and can't can't kill the witch or or can't you just need away, to realize to press make the block. sure you hold to the block button because if you get frozen with the block use the blocks remains active so especially when you're a tank or, or a berserker it makes a world of difference i mean on the tank section you have a talent which gives you health as well when you yeah. get when you're blocking so it means you can no longer stay alive until your paladin yeah. friend or any other damage dealer will come and help you out so I can see some people actually trying to capture the point, but they always being met with the unstoppable force of the red team SDP. Yeah. It's nine minutes till the match ends. Uh, it doesn't really look good for the previous Nidia yeah, team, Medved but still is pushing down this one bridge. There's a couple of occasional triangles, but uh, overall they just keep going down the bridge. And uh, I mean, there's a really good position for the for a sister of fire here. Strong mm -hmm. is just shooting there. Yeah. I think he's been standing here for five minutes now. Yeah, I think he's been standing here for a long time. I mean, maybe he gimped on the mana. I don't know. That's the only explanation I can see for him shooting so long. Oh, no, that's an Inquisitor. That was an Inquisitor. Yes. Oh my god. Good effort. Like, good effort. It was really good effort on killing that sister of fire. Like, really good. And unfortunately, First he just, fire. Yep. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Oh, no. And here we see the. Uh, Mana steel orb. Also, very easy to use in a sense because there's all the action is in one place. That makes the uh, Sister of Fire a really nice class. If all the action happens in one place, <laughs> fresh meat. I mean, yes, you were. Mm, fresh meat. Because the his attack also does uh, area damage. So yep. if everybody's bundled up. That's gonna build. And especially it's it good for sucking up the mana because of that ball. Yes. That, so exactly. if you move, manage to successfully land it in the right place, the paladin and everybody, any recent class out there, just loses its resource and uh, forced to use its potions. Well, uh, berserker is not in entirely, but mostly from that suffer, uh, from that suffer paladins and uh, Swiss fires in which. Uh, All right. Here we see a yep. little bit of a. Bit of a movement, and immediately it means that the team has to split. And now the other part, if they can get down the bridge, then then we're really talking. Here. It feels like the SDP has really good communication. Yes, yes, they were really fast to react to the uh, flank yep. there. Uh, but immediately, right after this flank, the uh, battle has moved to the capture point, which is as said. It's a good thing, yeah, to go uh, from the other side. Offensive. Because as you may notice, SDP doesn't have sappers, and uh, so, but uh, blue team does have a sapper. Yeah. So it means that the sapper can build up a turret uh, and so suppress from the one side, while or on the teleport. other, I mean, and or teleport, yes. And on the other hand, the there is another people coming. Yeah, so it's a pretty good idea for them to cap, like to do that. Okay, and now we see the can see, capture, and yeah. I said seven minutes left. It has taken some time, but uh, if we can, if they can craft the point now, they're still definitely in the game. And then I mean, you, you can see the red the team game. just got slaughtered. The, there's only blue mm -hmm. teams. There's a there's, there's a people Yep. Out. Oh, some oh, 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 nice, guys, run, run, run. Ooh, Ooh, that was a big hit. That was a big hit. That's there's it. still yep. enough presence to take this. And Anything I said their reinforcements are really close, really close. <sighs> it's. I mean, I can't really bring up the words. The blue team is desperately trying to get it, and it's and weird that it actually works. Really it really close. works. Yay! Yes, there we are. And time we extended. Time, ex time, time extended moving to another point. I mean, it's a huge boost for the morale because it, it can get really well. Yeah, it can be demoralizing when you keep just grinding your. When you even if it's hard, place. you can do that. But now you got it. You you've got the first one. Move on to the next one. Heading down the, over here. I mean, it's not a good idea to jump. Remember that. Well, not from too high. We've seen that. No, no. Fresh meat, right? Berserkers jump. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can try that. Yes, and anyway, uh, the red team immediately. They got a good chunk of the capture, but uh, yeah. The red team immediately right managed to get there to get in and block everything. I see that the tanks assembling uh, and trying to block their frost witches from damage, so they won't receive any damage when they're casting. 
the SDP uh, Sister of Fire is again in a very good mm -hmm. like position. I mean, the positioning also very important. I see many other players standing in a position where they're really exposed and the Berserkers just jump and use power attack. While I can see that clearly here, the, so, uh, the Sister of Fire is using a really good positioning where it allows him or her to shoot without being noticed or being noticed but nothing that can be done without, be, without being noticed. Inception of being noticed level 9000. Uh, I think I lost you halfway there. But yeah, I think, uh, I think I've lost myself. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, only 10 minutes left to the run, unless Medved can score the other Unless Medved will point. show the same performance on the first spot. Yes, so they, they, there's no it's rush. Th it's still the second only spot, so... Yeah, I mean, there's there's lots of things to happen, but uh, there's also no, no rush yet. 10 minutes is enough to take all the points, and, and they will still get more time when they do get even And if Brevet Medved is going to win this round, they're going to go move to the King of the Hill. Yes, and, and they really want that, because they do want that 10,000 crystals. Or maybe they are satisfied with the 5k. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? But yeah, I, well, I mean, it's nice, but why take 5 if you can take 10? It would be nice, you know, maybe know to have a tournament when you... You're now in the bracket, you are in the finals, and there is no... When there's a battle yet to begin uh, between one team and another. Imagine so we give a right to a team for actually to choose. Do you want to give another player a right to win and then receive 10k crystals for them and 5k for you? Or, if you agree to have a battle, if you lose, you lose everything. And you don't get a crystal at all. I mean, imagine the intention yeah. on that. If you can just surrender and get guaranteed 5k, or you can proceed with the fight and don't get anything. Or double. Or double, mm -hmm. yeah, or double. It's like it's gambling, like yeah, it, yeah. it's a matter of luck. Which we do not condone, in any sense. Just saying, for the record. For the record. Unless it's legal in your country, in which case, go for it. In which case, go for it. No, but we still don't encourage that. Mm -hmm. Do if you feel like it's the right thing. But anyway, moving back to the topic, you yes. see that the red team is again pressing on, proving yeah. the proving the sentence of best offense is a defense, best defense is an offense. Yeah. But at the same time, as I said, this second position is really open. There's ramps everywhere. You can always circle around. And this time, Privyat uh, Midvet started that a bit sooner than last time and, and uh, are making some progress. Well, just just this one guy, basically one berserker, requiring three guys, four guys, tying them up near the capture point. Is, I think is exactly what they need to do to uh, to be able to then punish the uh, other other part of the ream. I think what very much is happening right now is that a certain uh, players of the blue team is trying to capture the point, like solo, mm. uh, they do not succeed. Then they are like inspiring their team, telling guys, guys, we need to attack together. And then everyone, about yeah. after some time, starting to realize, yeah, okay, there is a some point. Time. Like last, last, on the first capture point, it took, took a bit of time. Oh, this is looking good, but there's a lot of red burns. Blue team actually there. captured like four. No, thirty-five percent of the points. Yeah. There's, they all rush to keep the pressure up. Now it's important to just have at least one one blue guy in the ring so that the red can just reset. Oh, which has just happened. Yep. But yeah, it's it's it is it's really critical. Once you start it, and and like they did in the hello, uh, like they did in the uh, first one. One once they did the proper flank and. Uh, did some damage there, the uh, defending team had to reorganize and that allowed the uh, rest of the uh, blue team to come in and really, really uh, uh, do a pincer move on the whole team and, and that allowed them to take the point in the end. So this time again the map is open, uh, they still need to move in coordinated packs, they can't do it alone. Yeah, agreed. Because the the uh, red team is really, I think they are on one on one or like small combat they are better. But uh, moving in, in, in two, two packs probably will allow the, uh, the focus to attack on, on the capture point. I mean, it, again, this is all being proven by the battle already, and I do think that's not a secret that the blue team, uh, or you mean, sorry, the red team is running a communication, maybe in a red call, maybe in a team speak, or maybe any other. Uh, yeah, I think both of them will be yes. having, uh, or maybe the maybe the blue team as well, but it clearly feels like the red team has better communication in yeah. that sense due to the fact that they've been training and uh, they, 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 they really had a team before that. 
So maybe they already know each other and they know their each game each gameplay style. So as you can see, uh, it really pays off. On the other hand, I still repeat that there's a really huge respect for the Privyat Midviat team because they've been they compiled their team during the tournament creation yeah. and then they managed to even run I guess one training. Uh, I, I mm -hmm. read something about it at least. Okay, okay. So as you can, and they're know, really putting up a fight. So yes. Great. So, so far, there's exactly five minutes left, but there are four more points to capture. So it means there's still plenty of chances to do. Mm -hmm. So what pretty much is happening, what I can see, is that the blue team is trying to approach from different direction. Uh, there are a couple of people defending from one side, mm -hmm. but there's a, I believe, a couple of people being sent from to another side. So then they can. Oh, that was a nice uh, explosion. But back to the top, but back to the thing. That the blue team is now currently losing on one side. But the reason mm -hmm. being is that they sent other team players from, from to the other side. As you can see, the SDP team is now kind of separated because they don't know mm -hmm. where to go, where is the bigger push. So it may be a good thing to think of a strategy what you do when the, uh, when the opponents arrive from different directions. The only problem is that while, while the blue is, is everywhere, it is very weak everywhere. And they do need to regroup yes. like they're doing right now and make a bit more concentrated effort. Uh, flank would be ideal to, to first distract the uh, defenders, but overall you have to come in with a group. You can't take the point by solo play, running around, all the 10 players running around by themselves, because that, that ends badly. Not to mention, oh, and there's one Berserker capturing the point. Okay. He's, he's been met with the frost witch. Yeah, there's no. a lot of oh. immediately five players coming back to yep. the point immediately, and while that is of course good communications, that means there's five players less fighting than nine of the other team, and that's exactly where they should need to find their uh, uh, power in their attack. I mean, uh, I do keep do keep in mind, people, that a blue team has a sapper. Which allow them to build a teleporter, which mm -hmm. means that they can efficiently teleport from one place to another That's and make an, in an instant flank. Because you can see the major forces of yeah. the red team is on the uh, side of the bridge before before they capture the point, and then on the other side, where there is an entrance to a different location, there is nobody. Currently, we have the teleporter right here, so it's yes. really just using it to uh, speed up their to speed to speed up their climbing. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, there's exactly three minutes left. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And uh, there's some some going on. Maybe maybe it's a good idea to actually move a teleport to a different location. And uh, I do really think that Sapper is on it, but I don't actually see where he is. Oh, it's getting pretty hectic. Now. Yeah, the blue the blue team is currently pushing on. The red team sorcerer is trying to fire up the berserker. Berserker misses her. <laughs> there's a lot of lot of dead. dead. Yeah, it's two and a half. It's two and a half. Yeah. It's either Privyat Midvet is going to push on or the winner is an SD, is SDP. Yeah, and right now it looks like SDP is holding their ground very nicely. Very nicely indeed. I mean, it's all about the communication. Back to the topic that you see as how fast they react. Mm. As in whenever they oh, see yes. they're going to see one player, it's not like they're thinking do they have to do they have to approach or not. It's immediately five players and one of them are definitely a frost witch who are about to come in the middle. So it means they actually do have a plan who goes there. I mean, I do certainly feel like there are certain players who knows that, okay, in case someone flanks, we are going there. And the other one just don't care. That's the best thing I do. I think that's called prioritizing when you know what you're doing. Yes, well, yes, indeed. You have your tasks and you know what's the I mean, like, highest importance of them. It's one in a minute and a 30 seconds for yeah. the SDP before the win, and it's one minute yeah. 30 seconds for the to fight that. Well, 10,000 crystals. Yep. That's nice. That's close. No, not, not, for, not for 10,000 crystals, but for extended time to get more room for the 10,000 crystals. Ah, for the, the SDP. For the SDP, yes, it's 10,000. Yeah. But for the Privyat Midviat, it's, it's a chance. Yes. It's not a 10,000 exactly. No, it's it's uh, unfortunately. I would love to see that. Okay, and one. somebody's making. Oh, somebody's captured. Oh, it's oh, an inquisitor as well. And so you can oh, how long, while you're how long can you capture that? I wonder. Is it, well, I mean, all you have to do is step in the ring and, and instantly the battle front moves right yep. away because that's what they have to do. They just to be has to fall back. Fifty seconds, guys. Exactly Fifty seconds. It's yes. whether SDP take the first blood, takes the first blood, or Pivot Mid is going to push. 
Oh, but actually, that was a perfect move. I never knew that the Inquisitor in Invisibility could actually capture the point. You can capture and you can also protect the point. So that's very cunning as well. When you're uh, just hanging in there, somebody else is trying to capture it and nothing happens, they wonder what's going on. It's because 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. If I would have power, I would have told you guys. Ooh. That's just awesome. Blue team is trying to press on. The red team is getting slaughtered. I see seconds. a lot of blue team Blue team so players actually in the middle. Stack, yeah, that's the last chance actually, guys. 15 seconds. It's either dead, it's like a dead, or being dead. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds, guys. You either press on or that is over. 9, 8, and 7, one, right, 6, we go. 5. The blue team is capturing. No. No, no. 3, 2, it. 1. And that's it. And the SDP takes the winner, the winning place. 10k crystals for an SDP. Good job, guys. At the, at the same time, it's 5k crystals for the previous mid -viet. Great performance guys, this team has been compiled during the tournament registration, I do do keep in mind that guys. Uh, I think it was a pretty good pretty good of a fight. Yes, yes it was, it, it started off a bit slow but then we, we saw exactly what, what it is, what it means to play Panzer, you need to have your team play working out, it doesn't work, you need to have your tactics, it, you, you can't move on unless you, if you just randomly run it towards the point, that doesn't work, you need to have your flanks. Uh, you need to have your organized defense, which as STP showed, and and when all of that comes to play, it's pretty pretty beautiful to watch, like we did. did it's see really awesome. Here. It's a really good performance. My uh, my sincere congratulations to the SDP team and sincere congratulations to Privet Midvet since they've been, yeah, been fighting. Yeah, five thousand crystals. Yeah, so it's like they've been fighting. Bad. Yeah, the, it's this fight was all about the amount of crystals, mm. so it means that the one of the team would eventually. Regardless of the situation, get 5k crystals. Yeah. And you have to remember, Privyad Meet, we had played one more match than the. Um, yeah, they played an extra match. Did. So, uh, so at maybe, this stage, maybe that was a cause, actually. Uh, yep, and maybe and they get considering tired. Considering if the uh, players are from Russia, it's, it's getting pretty late. Yeah. Right there. So, uh, thank you for participation, everybody, not only the uh, winning teams, but uh, everybody, and uh, stick with sorry us. Sorry once more for the stream quality. That was very unfortunate, but... Uh, Again, we repeat that we tested everything one hour before the stream was about to start and everything went as smooth as like as possible and it was perfect. But uh, due to some... Due to some unfortunate, yeah, unfortunate relationship... Of which we actually don't know too much about, but the ISP couldn't help right away, so... Well, we'll, we'll start figuring this out tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that was Sussex and... Unifici. Unifici, yeah. And we'll see you guys in the next tournament. And of course, on the forums, you can go ahead and talk with us there, I believe. As once again, congratulations to the winning team and congratulations to Privyad Minvet on a successful match. The, uh, the prizes are going to be delivered by the end of the week, I assume. Um, maybe well, maybe we'll a, we'll a bit more, the, but we'll, we'll contact the leaders and, yeah. and we'll, we'll organize the system that way. Anyway, good good night guys if you have a night here or good morning if you're coming from a different place or even good day. This was Sussex and Unifici signing out. Good night, good fight.